We're also following up tonight on the state's efforts to stop illegal cannabis sales. Yesterday, the Cannabis Control Board approved a measure giving a law Governor Kathy Hochul signed earlier this month extra strength. It increases civil and tax penalties for unlicensed and illegal sales of cannabis in the state. Businesses caught illegally selling cannabis by giving it as a gift with the purchase of a different product could face fines of up to $20,000 per day. And tonight I spoke with folks in the Queen City about the issue. Across various parts of the Queen City, you'll find sticker shops like this one on Elmwood or this location on Seneca Street, which used to be chain vapors, but is now closed until further notice. Locations like these are something that the state is working to crack down on because sticker shops are unlicensed shops selling cannabis. If they want to take care of themselves and their future opportunities to participate in the adult use cannabis space, um, that to realize that the regulated market is the way forward, and it's the long-term success versus the short-term opportunity. Corey Moscato was the regulatory liaison for Bison Botanics CBD products. Bison Botanics was founded in 2018 to help produce quality products to alleviate people's issues that they were having and try and find some more homeopathic approaches. Uh, it started as a CBD production. He says that it's important for New York State to move forward with this regulated market because it would produce a much better market and a much better consumer market. While we want to respect the legacy market and the cultures and the communities that have long since participated in it, we also want to toe the line and make sure that we follow the letter of the law for ourselves. And the regulated market offers a much more consumer conscious and regulatory environment so that there is quality standards, so that there's ensuring that there's no mold or metals in the product, the dosage is correct. Buffalo resident and business owner Aaron Bassett agrees. It may be warranted because this is something that people are actually putting in their body, you know, they're using it for recreational use or for, for medicinal use. You know, the state wants to make sure that people are selling the right stuff and nobody is being harmed. 